January 2024. Marcus and David, two brothers, grew up in a family where there was always an underlying tension. Although they shared the same blood, their relationship had never been ideal since childhood. David was their mother's favorite, her golden child, who received all the attention and care, while Marcus always remained in the background. This unspoken favoritism made their relationship strained, but Marcus tried to ignore it. On the surface, Marcus and his wife Karen appeared to lead a perfect life. Marcus had built a successful air conditioning installation and maintenance business, providing a stable income for the family. Karen was his rock and support. Together, they raised a son, whom Marcus loved with all his heart. But beneath this picture of contentment lay deep conflicts that had gone unnoticed for a long time. February 2024. Marcus begins to notice the first signs that something is off. His brother David, who had been distant for years, suddenly starts appearing in his life more often. At first, Marcus doesn't find it suspicious. He thinks David might be trying to mend their relationship. But this was only the beginning of a tragedy. Karen, who had always seemed like a devoted and loving wife, starts acting strangely. She becomes more pensive and distant from Marcus. His intuition tells him she's hiding something, but he can't quite figure out what it is. Marcus decides not to pressure her, assuming it's just a rough patch in their marriage. However, one day in mid-February, Marcus accidentally discovers a message on Karen's phone. The conversation hints at a meeting with someone close to him. In that moment, Marcus realizes that his suspicions might be justified, but he's not yet ready to accept the worst. His thoughts begin to drift toward his brother, but he refuses to believe that David could betray him in such a way. End of February 2024 Marcus's suspicions grow stronger when David starts showing excessive interest in Karen. They spend more time together, chatting and laughing, and even when Marcus is home, he notices their conversations sometimes continue without him. He starts to wonder if there's something more behind it. One evening, when he came home earlier than usual, Marcus found them in the kitchen having a conversation that seemed a little too friendly. Their glances and gestures left no doubt that there was a connection between them that went beyond normal family relations. Even at that moment, Marcus hoped it was all just in his head. He didn't want to destroy his family over mere suspicions. Instead of confronting them right away, he decides to wait for clearer proof. Yet his mind was already starting to process the heavy weight of potential betrayal. March 2024. The tension at home escalates. Marcus and Karen start arguing more frequently over minor things. At the same time, David continues to intrude into their lives, finding excuses to visit more often. This irritates Marcus, but he still doesn't confront his brother or his wife. Karen denies any hints of an affair and reassures her husband that he's just being jealous. Every day, Marcus's suspicions grow more intense. He knows that without solid proof, he can't confirm his doubts. Deep down, He's afraid of finding out the truth, but he also can't live with the constant feeling of betrayal. Marcus begins planning how to catch his brother and wife red-handed. March 25, 2024. This day marked the beginning of the end of Marcus's family life. The mounting suspicions that had been building over the past months finally led him to a decision. He installed a hidden camera in the house to uncover the truth about Karen and her relationship with his brother, David. It pained him to think that the woman he was married to could have betrayed him so cruelly, but the need for truth outweighed his fear. That evening, after Karen left for a meeting with friends, Marcus reviewed the footage. What he saw left no room for doubt. The camera captured moments when Karen and David were alone, their conversations, gestures, and then, a compromising scene in his own home. March 26, 2024. The night was agonizing. Marcus barely slept, with one question replaying in his mind. How long had this been going on? How could he have been so blind to miss the obvious signs? In the morning, he decided to have an honest conversation with Karen. When she came home, Marcus called her to the kitchen. His voice was steady, despite the storm of emotions swirling inside him. Karen, unaware of what was about to happen, sat across from him. He started with a direct question. How long has this been going on? Karen looked stunned, but initially tried to deny the accusations, claiming it was all a mistake. But Marcus didn't give her a chance to lie. He showed her the video recordings. 
Karen froze, realizing there was no point in hiding anymore. She confessed that the affair with David had been going on for several years, starting after one of the family gatherings when they were left alone in the house. She tried to justify it by saying their connection had started accidentally, but she couldn't stop it. March 30th, 2024. The revelation of the affair caused a deep rift in the family. Marcus immediately called his parents and told them everything. Marcus's father, Henry, was in shock. For him, this betrayal was a double blow. Not only had his daughter-in-law, but also his own son destroyed the family. The parents tried to contact David, but he avoided them, knowing the conversation would be painful and difficult. Marcus gathered all his strength and asked Karen to leave the house. He could no longer stand to see her around, let alone live under the same roof with a woman who had so cruelly betrayed his trust. Karen tried to justify herself, begging for a second chance, but Marcus was firm. Her actions had shattered their family, and forgiveness seemed impossible. April 1, 2024. Marcus's parents called a family meeting to talk with both sons. All day, Marcus mentally prepared himself for the difficult conversation. When the family gathered, the atmosphere in the house was tense. This time, David couldn't avoid the confrontation. During the conversation, Marcus's father expressed his deep disappointment and pain. He said he never expected such betrayal from David. Their mother, sitting to the side, cried, unable to find words to defend her younger son. David had no worthy explanation for his actions. He tried to blame Karen, claiming she was the one who initiated the affair and that it was just a fleeting impulse, but no one in the family accepted his excuses. It was clear to everyone. David had not only destroyed his relationship with his brother, but the entire family. Marcus, looking at his brother, no longer saw the person he grew up with, but someone he could no longer call family. April 10th, 2024. The family rift deepened. Marcus's parents sided with him, cutting David off financially and excluding him from the will. Marcus felt his parents' support, but the pain of betrayal lingered. He watched as his children suffered, witnessing the collapse of their family. His wife was gone, his brother was a stranger, and now he faced the task of rebuilding his life from the ground up, leaving behind years of deceit and betrayal. The family split into two camps, those who supported Marcus and those who, despite everything, stood by David, believing he deserved a second chance. April 20th, 2024. Only a few weeks had passed since the family meeting, but David's life had completely changed. He found himself alone with his problems, cut off from the family he had betrayed. It was more than just a loss of trust. It was complete alienation. Without financial support from his parents, David was forced to move into a small apartment on the outskirts of town. His relationship with Karen, which once seemed like a safe haven, began to quickly unravel. At the center of a scandal, Karen lost her social status and became a stranger not only in the eyes of others, but to herself as well. David felt cornered. His parents had disowned him. Marcus had become his enemy, and Karen was now the source of his misery. He was desperate, but most of all, he was angry. In his mind, he justified his actions, continuing to blame the circumstances and other people. For David, the moment came when he realized he had nothing left to lose. He began devising a plan to restore his reputation and exact revenge on Marcus. April 30th, 2024. David was consumed with thoughts of revenge. Left without a job or money, he couldn't find a way to start over. He replayed different scenarios in his mind that would allow him to come out on top of the situation. He began writing messages to his parents, begging for forgiveness, but when they didn't respond, his despair turned into anger. Why did they always side with Marcus? Why am I the one who has to suffer? He thought convincing himself that everyone around him should pay for this. Karen was also on the verge of a breakdown. Her marriage had fallen apart, and the children were staying with Marcus. She felt lost and blamed David for how things had spiraled out of control. Tension began to build between them. Instead of support and understanding, David started showing aggression toward her, blaming her for ruining his life. He claimed that if she hadn't confessed to the affair, everything would have been different. In response, Karen cried, accusing him of destroying their future. May 5, 2024. Finally, 
a concrete plan for revenge came to David's mind. He decided that if he couldn't regain his family's love and trust, he would make sure Marcus lost everything that mattered to him. His goal was clear, to destroy his brother's life the same way he believed Marcus had destroyed his. Knowing that simple conversations and attempts at reconciliation wouldn't work, he began crafting a complex and detailed plan. He knew that Marcus valued his children and his reputation. Using information he had gained during his years of close contact with Karen, David began looking for weak points in his brother's life. He planned for his first strike to target Marcus's work reputation. David knew that Marcus was negotiating a major project with important clients, and if the contract fell through, Marcus would face serious financial losses. May 10, 2024 On this day, David took the first steps in his plan. He found a way to access Marcus's corporate emails using Karen's old passwords. After reading the emails, he found the information he needed about the upcoming deal and decided to anonymously send competitors critical data about the project. This was only the first step in his plan, to undermine Marcus's career and strip him of his financial success. But that wasn't enough. David wanted more. He wanted to completely destroy his brother's life. The next step in his plan was to discredit Mark in the eyes of his children. David knew the emotional bond between Mark and his kids was strong, so he decided to use that as his main weapon. He began crafting a strategy to spread rumors and information that would tarnish Mark's image as the perfect father in the eyes of his children and everyone around them. May 20, 2024 On this day, David made his first attempt to reach out to Mark's children through social media, using fake profiles. He messaged them, trying to plant doubts in their minds about their father, telling them that Mark was allegedly involved in shady business dealings and had relationships with other women. David was willing to do whatever it took to destroy the world Mark had spent so long building. David's desperation and hatred had reached their peak. His plan was meticulously thought out, but he failed to consider one thing. Despite all his efforts to harm Mark, the family and the truth were on his brother's side and his actions could lead to consequences he hadn't anticipated. May 25, 2024 The day arrived when David's plan began to spiral in an unexpected direction. Over the past few weeks, he had sown enough seeds of doubt and negative rumors that people started to view Mark differently. The first signs of trouble at work weren't far behind. A major client, with whom Mark was negotiating an important deal, suddenly canceled the contract, citing a leak of information. It was a devastating blow to his business, and Mark couldn't understand how it had happened. Suspicion crept into his mind, but he had no proof of who was behind it. However, this was just the first step in a much larger game. David planned to make his final and most painful move. He began preparing to strike at what mattered most to Mark, his family. May 30th, 2024 David decided it was time to escalate the situation. He wrote an anonymous letter to Mark's wife claiming that Mark was hiding serious problems at work and possibly living a double life. The letter was crafted in a way that would create doubt, but didn't offer direct accusations that could easily be disproven. Karen, already aware of the tension at home and how stressed Mark had been about work, became alarmed. She started to suspect her husband of hiding things from her. Mark, sensing that a storm was brewing around him, tried to make sense of what was happening. He began to realize that someone was deliberately sabotaging his reputation, but he still didn't know who was behind it. When Karen showed him the anonymous letter, he understood that this was part of a bigger scheme. But who could be cruel enough to do this? June 5, 2024 David felt his plan was starting to bear fruit. But by this point, his obsession with destroying his brother's life had reached its peak. The internal tension that had been building over the years began to manifest in his behavior. He became more aggressive, and his mental state deteriorated. He could no longer control his anger, and Karen began to notice the changes in his behavior. David started blaming her more frequently for being the source of all their problems. One evening, after a long day, Karen decided to confront David directly, voicing her suspicions that he was behind everything happening to Mark. David irritated and on edge, snapped. He lost his temper and revealed the entire truth about his revenge plan and everything he had done. Karen was horrified. She realized that the man she had been with had not only ruined her marriage to Mark, 
but was now determined to destroy everything around him. June 10, 2024. Fearing for her safety and the safety of her children, Karen decided to leave David and tell Mark the truth about who was behind the destruction of his life. She knew that her silence had made her an accomplice, but now the situation had spiraled out of control. However, David, sensing his plan was unraveling, wasn't willing to let her go so easily. That night, as Karen began packing her things to leave, David lost control. His mind, clouded by rage and desperation, decided that if he couldn't fully destroy Mark's life, he would destroy his own. In a fit of rage, he retrieved a gun hidden in the house and declared that he wouldn't let her leave and tell Mark everything. June 15th, 2024. That night, tragedy struck, changing the lives of everyone involved in this family conflict. Neighbors heard loud screams and gunshots coming from David and Karen's home. When the police arrived, they found a horrifying scene. David was dead, and Karen was gravely injured. It soon became clear that in an attempt to stop Karen, David had shot her, and then, realizing his life was over, he took his own. This tragic outcome was a shock to everyone. Mark, upon learning what had happened, was completely devastated. He couldn't believe that his brother, despite everything, had taken such a desperate step. It was the moment when the full truth was finally revealed, and all the secrets David had tried to hide came to light. June 25, 2024 Mark and his family are grappling with the aftermath of the tragedy. Although Karen survived, she was left severely traumatized, both physically and emotionally. Mark realized they could no longer continue living as they had before. He filed for divorce and began to rebuild his life, trying to restore trust in himself and his family. Mark had to face the harsh truth that his brother had harbored so much hatred for him that he was willing to destroy everything around him. He understood that he could never change the past, but now his focus was on creating a new future for his children and himself. July 1, 2024 After the tragedy, Mark and his children moved to a new city to start over, leaving behind all the horrors they had endured. 